Katie McCarthy and Mike Miller say they're visiting from Massachusetts and they had heard about the flash flood warning, but never imagined it would be like this. Miller is camping at one of the campgrounds and says the water came in and just completely washed things away, including people's tents and their belongings. There was tents everywhere, there was rug mats everywhere. RVs were trying to get out as fast as they could. It was chaos, absolute chaos. And all the while, boulders are shooting right by me, boulders the size of my head. Like, we kept hearing that it was probable, but we kind of figured it was like never gonna happen and they probably have that warning a lot, but actually seeing it, I was just very shocked that it was happening. Zion National Park had to close down because there was so much damage to the entrance area and they quickly had to work to get people out. Meanwhile, a company came in to try to dig some cars out at Cable Mountain Lodge, saying that after the flash flood came in, one thing that they noticed was how everyone came together, even out of towners coming together to help. It was pretty chaotic. There was still people just in disbelief that it kind of happened and there was pretty good response from some of the contractors and people in the community that had really pulled together and came out with their equipment loaders and, and whatnot. Uh, the county was responding with dump trucks to kind of clear the main highway and, and clean up the best they could on the public right of ways. And so it was, it was pretty neat to see the response from individuals and even people there on vacation that were grabbing shovels and just really putting their shoulder to the wheel. So that was a neat aspect of what we initially saw when we arrived on scene. Um, but it was, it's, it's a mess and it's going to be a mess for several days yet. 